You guys, why are we just standing here? We gotta rehearse for tomorrow's show. Freddy, for the millionth time, we already know the songs. They were built into us. Literally, all we have to do is wait for the employees to turn on the music, and then we can just milly vanilly the entire thing. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Uh, nothing. We're property. We don't have the freedom to do whatever we want, and frankly, we shouldn't be capable of boredom in the first place. So you're saying you're not bored right now? <sighs> yeah, yeah, we, we are. are. Well, then let's do something fun. Ooh, I know. Let's go say hi to our friend Mike. Mike was fired, remember? He tried turning us up to 20 on his last night because... I guess he wanted to kill himself? Not surprising if he works at this shithole. Oh dear. I guess then... We're all alone. No one's here for us. We're completely isolated on this stage. Just three of us. And absolutely no- Ahem! <laughs> Why me? Oh, real nice. You dumbasses know I exist, right? Crying yeah, we just pretend you Where? don't. Where? Somebody boot my nose. Freddy, calm down. Jesus, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we won't be alone for long. Soon we'll be taken to the new place and get to hang out with scraps of other animatronics. And won't ever have to sing on stage ever again. Won't? That be fun? What the hell, man? That sounds awful. Yeah, that's a bit messed up, lad. Can't be that bad, right? At least we'll be providing the new animatronics with helpful contributions. Yeah, our limbs. We're gonna be torn apart. Oh, please. I be the only one who needs to worry about that. I was already the most disposable of this lot. Can't wait for the same treatment there. Well, maybe if you didn't go for one of the kid's skulls, you wouldn't be out of order. That was never proven in a court of law! Well, I was in the know, cold, those minding my own business out there, they are so crazy. They think like Freddy did it. Freddy the totally pizzeria. did not do it. That was a completely on me different bite. Tried to you did the other further. one. There is no proof that Mangle did it. I mean, look at Mangle. Do you really think Mangle did it? Alright, everyone, shut up! We need to stop crying like a bunch of hopeless victims and think of a way to stay in business. You're right, Chica. We need to find some way to bring kids back into this place. And not that plastic excuse of our hard-earned pizzeria. How exactly are we gonna do that? They come in about a week to haul our asses out of this building. Well, what do kids love more than anything else? Happiness? N no shit, Sherlock. What gives them happiness? Treasure! Games! Sigurd? You're just listing off things we already do. Don't you see? What we have isn't good enough. We have to think of something we've never done. This is simple marketing strategy, guys. Say, wasn't there an announcement about a holiday coming up? Yes, Halloween. Halloween? How the hell are we going to have Halloween here? Make the kids go into Pirate Cove alone? I will tear ye a new asshole, I swear to God. We could get Halloween decorations and put them around the pizzeria. And let kids dress up. And cut pizza into spooky shapes. No one likes our pizza. We could write some Halloween-themed songs to play for the kids instead of the usual ones. We can't learn new- Yeah, this is great! We'll be so trendy that kids will pile up by our doors. We'll be a holiday restaurant. That idea sounds terrible. Let's do it! Fuck me. This place looks amazing! Yeah, the kids are gonna be so happy we're riding the proverbial dicks of popular holidays. And in just under an hour! Lame. Come on, Bonnie, put that thing away. We're opening our doors. Let's see who comes in now. What the hell? No one showed up. That's not true. One kid did. Yeah, to draw on Foxy. That's about it. I think that kid has potential! Come on, guys, this place is somehow even more dead than before. Open your creepy-ass eyes. This Halloween party you jack-off started failed miserably. Maybe Bonnie's right. Maybe we should just consider moving out. We tried our best. No way! This is our home, and it will stay our home. Dude, we're technically going back to our old home, and you know what? It's actually nicer. I actually had me own damn room! No one cares, Foxy! Nobody fucking cares! Besides, Freddy... We all know why you really don't want to go there. I, uh, don't know what you're talking about. 
You just don't want to be used for spare parts because you're jealous of the toys. What? That's completely untrue. Sure it is. Oh, come on. It's not like you also don't hate them. Remember, they made you look like a chick. Don't. Fucking. Remind me. And they gave me hips, as if kids weren't already sexually confused. And they always take pleasure in reminding us again and again and again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> they are new and improved versions of us. And I'll be damned if I'm sacrificing even a picky toe for those freaks. They even think their Foxy is better. Have you seen that thing? That's why we can't give up. Because we are our own characters. Independent animatronics all the way. Well, if you plan on continuing this Halloween bullshit, then you're gonna need more than creepy cutouts. I can help you with that. Who's that speaking with the impediment? It is I. And you are? Guys, it's me. William. Afton. The reason you're sentient beings. No, that's the marionette. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the marionette. Yep. Well, she wouldn't have brought you to life if I didn't kill kids. So, really, I deserve all the credit. Pretty sure you don't. Forget that. I see that you managed to create the most sucktastic Halloween anyone has ever seen. Harsh, but okay. It just so happens that I specialize in exactly what you are trying to do. Really? And how is that? I am the star of Fazbear's Fright. A horror attraction based around this very pizzeria. Horror attraction? We're not scary. Good one, Freddy. Therefore, I clearly know more about what is scary than any of you. So I decided to drop by and give my assistance. Well, if we know you business types, we know that you will want a price on that assistance. Well, first of all, no need to be so judgmental. Second of all, there's totally gonna be a price on it. And what's that? Good question. Allow me to work something out with my associates. No, that's too simple. Well, we don't need to stoop that low. Oh, this is gonna be so evil and uh, schemish. The fuck? No, that's not nearly as evil and schemish. Where is he enough. talking Why did to? I hire you? You get to own the restaurant? That's too petty. Merchandising rights? I wouldn't be caught dead a second time doing that. Share of their booty. Okay, what's something we can all agree upon? Ooh, perfect. We've reached a verdict. Okay. We have decided that if this is a success, we will not burn down your entire establishment. No yes! way! Oh my god! Business is business. Sometimes arson is involved. That's just the way the world works. So, we'll be homeless? Well, no. You'll just be shipped off to your new pizzeria even sooner. That's not better, asshole. Now, now, don't worry. I guarantee you this will work. Even though I hope it doesn't. Because I would love to see this place burn. Anyway, one thing that kids are really gonna get drawn in by is Edge. And lots of it. Edge? What's Edge? Wow, you really don't get out much. I don't either, but even I knew. Kids are tired of being treated their age. They want blood. They want mayhem. They want dark, grimy atmosphere. They want the living dead roaming the halls. Props of decapitated heads around every corner. A risk of AIDS just by being there. Gross. Exactly. It's very gross, and kids will love it. So basically what you're saying is, we need to be more adult to get the kids' attention. You said it, not me. Must be why they gave you hips. Fucking can it. If you do that, I guarantee you won't only be popular, but you'll even run the other pizzeria out of business. Then I'll have my own. I mean, you'll have your own home back. I say it's worth a shot. We're really that desperate? Hmm. Alright, we'll do it. Let's win those kids back with... A adult stuff. Makes sense to me! Wow. It... It's really scary, dude. That's the point. We're adult now. 
I'm not ready for this, you guys. It's either this or a spare parts room. Your choice, Freddy. This reminds me of being back on my ship! You were never on a ship, you idiot. Shh, the kids are coming. Wow, that was a blast. Did you see how many kids came? Yeah, that's more kids than I've ever seen. Even the cops came to the party. It feels so great to be doing a public service. Wonder what that group of teens did that got them in trouble. Oh, nothing. I think they just needed rides back home. Makes sense. Hey, look, there's William. Hey, William. Today was so much fun. We couldn't have done it without you, Fred. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. I found this paper on my way over here. Have a look. What? Fazbear's Halloween event breaks entertainment laws. Teenagers busted for illegal drug use? What is... gang grape? Avast! What this be about? What this is about is... Well, you got more traffic than you ever received in your entire run under this roof. But you're also being shut down as we speak. Blast no, no, me no, in the fucking oh, serious! Which means you are no longer in business, you guys are being shipped away, and where's my gasoline? But you said it would work! Yeah, you were supposed to be a professional. Well, that's the thing. I'm not. I ran Fazbear's Fright into the ground. A bunch of drunk adolescents started the whole thing. They just fished me out of a dumpster and made me their mascot. I thought you said you were William Afton. What the hell were you doing in a dumpster? Long story involving suit malfunctions. No need explaining. So, that's it? We're moving away? Yes. Just like I wanted. Wait. Even though I hope it doesn't, because I would love to see this place burn. You... you meant for this whole thing to fail, didn't you? Just so you could burn the place down. Uh, yeah. I literally told you that. You're a fucking idiot. So you pretended to help us, but really meant to sabotage us? Oh my god, yes! Congratulations! You graduated Retard Academy! You son of a bitch! We should have known you weren't to be trusted! Are we done playing Captain Obvious here? Now if you'll excuse me, I got some pouring to do on the walls. Pack your shit and get out of my building, which will burn! <laughs> I... I don't believe it. I'm really going away. Next time anyone sees my eyes, they're gonna be on someone else. Ye be lucky to have a face after the toys get through with ya. Shut up, Foxy, that'll never happen. Alright, enough. Out. Or you won't have parts big enough to give them. So, now what? Yeah, how are we supposed to end this episode on a good note now? I'll tell you how. By giving everyone watching a message of hope. To make the most out of any situation. Even the worst ones. I guarantee you. This is far from the end of our story. We will stand triumphant one day, and then we can victoriously give everyone that happy ending they deserve. Well, this one is shit. I agree. I'm gonna miss that kid drawing dicks on me. Teenagers busted for illegal drug use? And they didn't share?!